Alright, what's going on guys? I'm Cole Team Bone Steelers here once again with some more unturned. And today I'm just I'm gonna be do, doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be going over uh, the um patch notes for the update to two point one point eight. Now the only reason I'm doing this is because they changed a couple of things in a couple of the videos I did recently, namely be the <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, namely being the uh, APC video and the Desert Falcon video. Now, I guess we'll all, I'm just going to go through all the patch notes for the most part. But, anyway, what he added what he added was he had the ability to run the game in offline mode, which that's, I, I, like, I like that to be like an option because a lot of times like our power will go out and then it'll come back but our internet will be gone, so... I like to be able to run games in offline mode, it's fun. But, um, <clears throat> he also added the, a new recipe to make a can, which is two scrap metal with a hammer in, le in the little, uh, tool slot. I would show you guys the recipe, but I don't have two scrap metal or a hammer, so it's kinda, kinda tricky to do that when I don't have any of those things. But, also, he, had, he supposedly added a link to the patch notes on the title screen, but... I can't seem to find them. Maybe, maybe they're there. And I'm just blind. Well, that's probably the case. But <laughs> I tend to miss things like that. But <clears throat> it's because I'm a little bit weird. Now, in my APC, in my APC video, you guys, if you guys watch that, it, you saw I said that the uh, APC's top speed was like 36 or 39 kilometers per hour, or something like that. I can't quite remember. But it has been changed it's actually a little bit faster now it can now get up to as you guys can kind of see there it likes to flicker back and forth a little fast but it's like 43 mile, kilometers per hour so man it's, it's still really slow though but he also increased the damage of the desert falcon so it still takes two headshots to kill military zombies it's still loud which is why I still have the silencer on it, it still takes two headshots to Kill military zombies, but once we get over here, I'll show you. That it only takes one headshot to kill a um, civilian zombie. Uh, also, the, he increased the Lapua tracer spawn rate. That's like ammo for like the timber wolf. I didn't even know that existed. Like the Lapua tracer, I have never found one. But look, you can just one shot civilian zombies with this thing now, which is nice. I'm actually gonna pick up these military bullets because I'm running low on military bullets at the moment. Anyway, moving on. Uh, okay. He also reduced the damage the longbow did. So, it's it's essentially the same same as Desert Falcon. It can one-shot um, civilian zombies in the face, but it can it takes two... My ladder's gone. That's sad. It takes two shots to kill military zombies in the face hole. Now, I unfortunately killed them all. So, can't really show that off. But... Moving on, he fixed the melee range exploit, which I didn't even know existed. I guess there was some kind of a melee range exploit, though, so... Yay. <laughs> that's fixed. Oh, ghastly nighttime. I hate recording this game at nighttime. But, that's okay, there's only a few more things. Next, he, uh, he fixed swapping backpacks with equipped items. I'm not entirely sure what that means. I'm assuming what it means is like you try to put on a backpack and it would take off one of your other pieces of uh, clothing that you're wearing, or maybe it would make. I, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what that means, to be honest. But I'm sure you guys do, but I don't. It's probably obvious, and I'm just stupid. But then the last thing he fixed was the invisible empty crates, which was like sometimes when a crate was empty it would be invisible I'm assuming I never had that problem so not really <clears throat> too uh, too too sure I'm assuming I'm it seems pretty pretty clear what that is but I could be wrong now and then he just goes on to um, talk about steam networking and stuff I'm not gonna go into that cuz I don't I don't want to but uh, you guys can go read it. I'll put a link to the patch notes in the description if you guys haven't already read them, which you probably have. But 
Or maybe you haven't. I don't know. I'm not you guys. So, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. And if you want to see more of the content, subscribe. And all that good stuff. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.